Dire warning, it is forbidden to walk in our streets in immodest dress, including slutty clothing worn in a religious style. A sign with this warning and other signs like it which had adorned the streets of Beit Shemesh, an Israeli city 20 miles west of Jerusalem, contributed to an atmosphere of harassment for many of the community's women. Such was the determination of an Israeli court, according to Haaretz, an English-language news source which reports on news out of the Jewish nation-state. Haaretz also tells us that the community of Bet Shemesh must pay damages to the women who brought suit against the city, which did not place the signs but refused to order them taken down. The award of 60,000 shekels works out to be about the equivalent of $4,000 apiece for each of the four complainants. The women complained often to the city's mayor, Moshe Abutul, but were told to ignore the signs, according to Neely Phillip, one of the women involved in the lawsuit. This advice became impossible, however, after a young mother with child in hand was assaulted by a gang of Haredi men wielding sticks who determined the woman's skirt to be immodest. A two-story tall church made entirely of ice, modeled on a brick-and-mortar church located in Transylvania, is assembled annually from ice blocks carved from Malia Lac, a glacier lake in the Faragas Mountains in central Romania. Once blessed by a priest, the frozen lake is harvested with chainsaws. Blocks of ice are then transported by cable cars to a remote peak of a mountain where workmen assemble the structure using melted snow and water as cement. Once assembled, the church is used by clergy from a variety of Romania's Christian denominations to hold services, perform baptisms, and consecrate weddings. Religious tension and disagreements are not uncommon in Romania where the ownership rights of several religious properties are in dispute. However, these animosities are put aside each winter as a community comes together to create a moment of peace frozen in time, both symbolically and in reality, as the building will melt away in the thaw come spring. 48-year-old Catholic Diego Neria Laraja was born a woman, but finalized a sex change eight months ago and has plans to marry. Since then, he has received nothing but abuse from his local clergy, who refer to the transsexual as the devil's daughter. From now on, these priests might want to be a bit more careful with their words as news has come out that Neria and his fiance have had a private meeting with none other than Pope Francis. Neria described himself as a loyal, lifelong Catholic to the Spanish newspaper Hoy and recounted that he was never comfortable as a female, even as a child. He first contemplated the change when he was 40, but honored his mother's request that he not change his body while she was alive. Neria not only cared for his mother throughout her infirmity, but was also always mindful of the state of the poor in his country and, like Pope Francis, believed in ministering to them personally rather than simply writing a check. And it was likely this direct approach which impressed Pope Francis so much that he responded to a letter he received from Neria asking if there wasn't a place in the Catholic Church for people like him. Neria was so shocked when he received a telephone call from the Pope himself that he couldn't speak. After introducing himself, the Pope went on to invite Neria and his fiance to visit him on January 24th. Pope Francis is on record as arguing that the church he leads has grown obsessed with such issues as gay marriage, while at the same time stating that legislation allowing gay marriage in Argentina is the work of the devil. The Pope has also praised ballot initiatives in Slovakia which limit gay rights. While not openly condemning individuals, and in fact appearing to welcome a more diverse laity, it seems unlikely that official Catholic policy will change in a great way anytime soon. Nevertheless, Neria says that he now feels at peace with himself and the Church.